be able to see Nightmare over there, but there it is. But anyway, what's going on you guys? The pizza person here with Daredevil GP Dad. And we're not actually going to Camelot, we're actually going down to Blackpool Pleasure Beach because, well, why not? It's one of our favourite parks. Well, obviously, we've heard it's going to rain, so we've brought our coats and that. Plus, also, the Sun and Wild Mask was as well, so I guess why not go to Pleasure Beach? Buy some Wild Mask for one. Why not? Yeah. Alright, uh, see you there. This here is some, this is actually from the Close Shave, Wallace and Gromit from 1995. Some Wallace and Gromit clay things. And over here, right, over here is the Grand Ale from 1989. The first ever Wallace and Gromit film. Sure, from yeah. 1989. Yeah. Some Wallace and Gromit history. But anyway, guys, more importantly, we're here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Don't know what ride we're going to go on first. Valhalla, obviously, it opens at 11 o'clock. Um, big one of hoods going to be late because of the weather. So I'm not too sure which first. We're going to probably go and head to some other ride. Grand National, obviously, no. I hate that thing. Although people, <laughs> Scott and um, I think Mike from Pleasure Beach Experience say that is a, a bit smoother this year. Might Maybe later, I don't know. Very unlikely to hate it. And over here, obviously, a lot of you know this is where Trauma Towers was and Wild Mouse, which obviously both of them are unfortunately gone, which is a shame. Loved Wild Mouse, but never got in Trauma Towers. But Wild Mouse, though, they are selling wood, and we're and I am going to buy some later on. So yeah, and I think there's Grand National over there testing. So here we are. I suppose we're going to try and test the fountains because they're not switched on. If I get soaked, then we get triggered. Which I think the, the, the fountains aren't even on yet. Yeah, Wild Mouse over there, not anymore. Yeah, we're just heading over to the other rides. Well, Nickelodeon Land's probably the only thing that's going to be open. But we're going to see if Wallace and Gromit is actually going to be open. At the minute, I'm not too sure. Big Dipper over there, amazing. You might be able to see a few, so there's Big Dipper testing. Wish you could zoom in, but this camera's broke. Please, if I, if I start playing shoot up again, please support so I can get a better camera. And there's the Planet Rock Bowler Drone, which could be going soon. A big one, a new fusion over there. So, before we actually try and see if Wallace and Gromit is open, I'm going to try and show you the most peng roller coaster ever built, and that's Icon with the station now actually looking amazing. They are actually starting to put theming on the station and the avalanche of it. Okay. Oh, I'll probably head by Wallace and Gromit. That's one I want to go on. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just going to go around. So anyway, here is the Moose Peng roller coaster over built and that's Icon, the beauty itself. Huge part of the track actually, I can remember that. That's something the people will never forget. And there's banging and a donut. I don't have a clue that's someone working on the Grand Prix. And there's some members of staff working in the Icon Station. Sadly, Thrillomatic's not open just yet. Hopefully soon, a half ten. Alright, um, just got slow, almost slipped there. Um, anyway, almost Wallace and Gromit, it's really good and I do like it. In fact, it's my favourite dark ride here after Valhalla, which I hope to ride later. I'm going to go by the big one area now and see if that's running yet, because if it isn't, I've gone through like Super Taste or Avalanche. I haven't seen a second yet. And there's Nickelodeon Streak over there. Revolution over there. Don't really like Revolution, but I think I'm going to do it later because I haven't done it for a long time. Um, there's the Pleasure Beach Express over there. And part of the old monorail, which is no longer in operation, unfortunately. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna move it. Yeah, take you on Wallace and Gromit later. And there's the locker room over there, and same with the Revolution and Avatar Airbender over there. Yeah, um, yeah, one of the thing here is working the street because. We did a vlog in Liverpool on Sunday. Now we're here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So here we are. 
going to cross this bridge and go over by the big one area and if it is running I'll go on the big one. So here we go. Time to cross the bridge. And yes, I do intend to vlog a lot today. And here are the avalanche bears over here. I hope they're, I hope they're working. Yes, the avalanche bears are working. Yes. Amazing. The avalanche bears are running. Makes up the avalanche soundtrack. Really good, really nice. But you know what? Forget the big one for now. I'm going on avalanche. Depends on the queue. I might just queue for this actually because it doesn't look that bad. Here we go, guys. Into the avalanche. See you. No, I'd stay away from this one about you because I'll probably make a shot. Alright, we'll go for other roads anyway because with avalanche, if you show the car, it's pain pretty much. Yeah. So, yeah. But the thing is with avalanche, if you take a girl on this, it's the best. Sadly, I've not been able to do that yet, but. Well, one day. Anyway, time for our lunch. Right. Right, just got off of Avalanche here and he said he forgot his poncho. It's either going to be Big One, Steeple Chase or Revolution next. And then maybe head to Valhalla because storage fountain's going, so yeah. And there's the annoying laughing clown, well man, laughing man. Although they call him the clowns in a while. I haven't seen Big One running yet. Hope it runs today because the best coaster. That's until Icon opens though. Once Icon opens, everything changes. And it'll be my top coaster, hopefully. Yeah, it's raining a bit. It's not fair play for me, even. To, it's no fair play for even coming today. Yeah, fair play for us for even attending. But yeah, don't look like big one's gonna be running anytime soon. So it'll probably be steeplechase. Save that for later. Doesn't even look like the ride's going to be running at all. Well, I might want to put my coat on soon. Maybe soon. That's a big one. Not, not running at all. And it looks like here that the drink cans have had a bit of TLC. Not tells that we care, of course. Looks like it's been. Yeah, looks like it's been a bit. Had a bit of work done it. Looks a lot nicer now. Uh, it looks like they got this. Feel on top of the world, 235 feet, although it's 214 feet. <laughs> yeah. So over here we've got Icon as well, which is the most peng roller coaster, although he does not know what peng means. It says 6 o'clock, the closing there, although it's actually 7. I think. Yo, know, I'm, I'm on for steeplechase now if it's open. This big one doesn't look open. So here we go. Steeple chase, here we go. Valhalla probably. Alright, um go the steeple chase, it's a bit rougher than the last time I went on it, but it's still good. Oh it's starting to get a bit rough. Anyway, I don't know what time I think it's like 11 now, so we're gonna head to Valhalla. Well I don't think he's going on it, but I am. I am going on to Valhalla. But revolution can wait a bit. Ah, uh, God, my glasses soaked and steamed up. One minute past eleven. Oh, but Halloween will be will still be open. Should be open. And here. That's about the big one. They're not sure if it's going to be running today or not. Valhalla 
absolutely great. In fact, I'm going again. Yeah, I'm going again. This poncho is not going to soak me at all. This poncho keeps me dry, this one here. So do you know what? I'm going again. Ball hollow right is amazing, but two times in a row, I think I'm going to have a bit of a break. Going to go in the shop now and see what Wild Mouse wood is for sale and we're going to buy some wood from the old Wild Mouse coaster. So here we go, see you in a moment. It's official, we've got the Wild Mouse wood now, but we're going to put it safely in our locker. Right, that, that's job done and dusted, right. What ride we're going to go next, I'm not sure, but I'm going to head by the big one area and see if that's going to run or not. Because if big one is running, I'll go ride it. See ya! Great, we have the Wild Mouse Woods now. We are part of it. The best wooden coaster at the park. Second favourite woody for me. Mine would be Wild, but mine would be the Antelope of Gullivers. I don't know why. But Wicker Man will be my new favourite woody and I can guarantee that now. So yeah, there's a big one there. We're going to go and see if it's running yet. So I haven't seen a single test run go. So if it doesn't, we'll just go on the revolution. Yeah. And then there's the Grand National here, which is my least favourite ride here at the park. I don't like it, but here we are. And it looks like Amanda Thompson's dancing water fountains are on now. There's the arcade here, and Impossible. Or even so, I think I might just go on one of the dark rides, like River Caves, maybe, but probably not. Big Dipper, maybe. And there is the... Wood fountains there, which are actually kind of cool. And you got Gourm Gourmet Burger up there. The spectacular dancing water show. Spectacular dancing water show every half hour. So here we go. We are now walking to the Big Dipper, or maybe even River Caves. Might have to go to the River Caves while I'm here. So yeah, see you in a minute. All right, here we are inside to the River Caves. Um, then the man said it may be alright for me to film on this, but just be careful, I think, he said. So here we are, we're doing an on ride to the River Caves. I think we'll be allowed to do this, so here we are. There's dinosaurs there. this I like this one it's actually quite a good one enjoy it and there's some of the nice scenery over here so I think this so if I get in trouble now I'll just say one of the staff let me film on this because there was a man who said yeah you can because I asked him so if like Amanda Thompson says hey you can't film that's so like one your staff let me so yeah This ride's alright. I mean, it, yeah, sure, it's alright. Uh, sorry about my thing in there. Just moving it. But anyway, I think with this ride and some of the other dark rides, I don't think they really care, to be honest. I don't think it's really a big issue. We are into the Valley of the Kings. In here now. A 
the west bank of the Nile stand the temples of the Abu Simbel. They remained unknown to the outside world until their discovery in 1813. Built by the Egyptian king Ramses II, these colossal statues are most spectacular Wow. This road's actually quite good. It's kind of like a junior bar holler in a way because, well, yeah, you don't get soaked on this thing, but it has the theming in the boat and the drop at the end, so it kind of is like a mini Valhalla in many ways. Through the caves. And it's the end bit where you usually get stuck, so I might turn off the camera. When the boat stopped, so it must always stop. A hundred years ago, the great city was rediscovered. A city where once a million people had worked, sung, and prayed. The mighty city. Whoa! It just literally got pushed. Right, here we go, here's the drop. Didn't drop actually. Uh, I think I'm gonna go on the Big Dipper next after this. By the way, there we go. Ready? Three, two, one, and drop. <laughs> that was actually quite good. Anyway, should be heading off to Big Dipper now. Change of plan. We're not gonna do Big Dipper. I don't want to use my pass. I don't know why. And I don't want to wait in the big queue. So I'll go on something else instead. Wish I could say I can't, but we can't. Not just yet, but we'll see it testing today. And when I see it testing, I'll be getting some quality footage. I think we could be getting some soon enough. Mind you, the trains are still unwrapped. Well, they're still wrapped up, sorry. Have any idea when the ride should be testing? Well, we're off. Well, I don't know if Dad's coming on the revolution, but I'm going on the revolution. And then um, hopefully, the big one will be going because it's just annoying really that the big one's not open. Because I love the big one. In fact, it's probably the best coach here, but yeah, probably better. Probably, what well, is probably my top 10 now. And there's the revolution there. Anyhow, I'm off to the revolution and then I am going to obviously ride it. Front row as well. Revolution, right. I used to absolutely hate the thing because it was rough going backwards and that. It's a bit rough, but you know what? I like it. I, I now like to ride again. It's actually quite good. You know, because I must have thought, oh god, the drop's going to be terrible backwards, but it actually wasn't. In fact, it's actually quite a good ride. It's just a lot better than I remembered. I'm going to see what the score is with the big one, and if it's not going to be open, I might go on something like Sky Force, but anyway. See in a moment when I find out the news. Alright, bad news for the big one, it's not going to be open just yet, but hopefully it'll be open later. Um, here's Icon here, it's Helix, cannot wait to experience that. Uh, Revolution, a ride that I like again. I used to think it was terrible, but it's alright. And there's the Steeple Chase sign there, and the Steeple Chase itself. Anyway, I think I'm going to go on Sky Force now, and then I don't know what I'm going to do after that, but I'll just go on Sky Force for now. Bad news, this one still isn't open, but we're going to my favourite ride now, and that is Valhalla, so going to Valhalla now, and I'm going to try and do like a marathon on it, I don't know how many times I'm going to try doing it in a row, but I'm going to try, I don't know what my record is, it must be high, my record must be high, but here we are, there's Revolution there, must touch track, uh, no, couldn't 
push it too high up. Hello there, annoying lapper man, you're almost as annoying as Sean Sandler. Oh wait, no, Sean's a bit more annoying than him. Let's see, have lunch. Q's getting a bit bigger for our lunch now. There we are. And over here are the avalanche bears again. Yeah, well, I'm going to head back to Valhalla now. Going to try and marathon it, see how many times I can do it in a row. Break a record, maybe. Not too sure what you saw a record for Valhalla. I don't know. I don't know what my record is, but anyway. There's Icon over there, I think we've missed testing footage, which is a shame. Hopefully they might do it later, I don't know. If they do, I will actually film it, because, well, why not? And there's Icon, they've started to put theming on the top of the thing, the station. And, yeah, the, the station just looks amazing, incredible. And, yeah. They're working in the station, so hopefully I'll be able to. But anyway, we're off to Valhalla now. Right, this is Valhalla. Time for round two. Yep, time for round two. On Valhalla. Time for a ride on Wallace and Gromit. And I don't know why I'm pointing to Big Dipper or why I'm facing the camera towards Big Dipper because you can't see Wallace and Gromit yet. But anyway. Me and Dad are going to go on Hollis and Gromit now and then I don't know what we're going to do we're going to try and see whenever big one's going to open I suppose it won't open today We're going to have a in the lad Yeah we will Well, 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 Hollis and Gromit's not open in a minute Wow, how amazing to be fantastic if you didn't already realise So let's go on the Nickelodeon streets now because, well, Bruno Matic's not even running, it's broke and there's some shots of Big One, Big Dipper, Revolution, Avalanche. You might be able to see Fusion and part of Icon as well. That's quite a good coasters. Uh, a lot of coasters over there. But still, go ahead to the street now and then I'll see you after that. again but blue fire i don't think so anyway uh, although i've not been on blue fire i don't like it but nickelodeon street though is actually quite good anyway i think i'm gonna go check up on the big one see if that's gonna be open anytime soon and if so i'm gonna ride it but anyway here we go to the big one right then guys i suppose you can guess exactly what the fate is that's right it's not open yet but we're gonna go to the big dipper and do some of the dark rides as well like one can drum it again if it's open and the ghost train and possibly our little ones will as well all right just got off the big dipper and i guess now it's time for dramatic so let's go see you at dramatic to Alice in Wonderland now and see if we have any better luck with on-ride filming and the ghost train is good but it's starting to show its age the transit system is actually starting to show its age a little bit so yeah off to Alice in Wonderland now and I'm not even sure if I'm gonna have an on-ride for you there but I'll try right we actually are gonna get you an on-ride to Alice in Wonderland they don't care really the staff the staff said they, they haven't said yes they haven't said no they just don't care so Amanda Thompson, if you are watching this, please just don't sack the nice lad, please. It's um because he, he said he did say yes and he did say no, so he didn't care, so it's kind of up to me and I just said, well yeah. Strobe 
Setting. Here we Nice near the beaming. It's nicely, it's nicely done. And here's a shot of the most paying roller coaster icon. Although people are going to say, no, Wicker Man's more paying. I disagree. Anyway, I am going to the Revolution and then I'm going on the big one. Well, sorry, not the big one, Walter Gromit. Well, he's been on the big one. Now it's, it's quite rough. So 
I don't, I don't intend to ride that again today. It's not that I don't like it, it's just it was a bit too rough. That's the problem with it. So yeah. Don't be a hallucinator, don't notice and coming. I'll see you then. Revolution again, very, very good. I do actually like it again now. Um, you know, when you go forward through the loop and then you go off into that thing where you go backwards, but after the loop, you go off, you know, like that. I got some pretty good ejector air time there, as in, nearly thrown out of my seat, but as you have a solar harness, yeah, as in, you feel like you're going to get chucked out of your seat. But anyway, that was epic. Gonna buy the on that button. Then I'm going to Wallace and Gromit, solo matic. I've made some plenty of rides, but I haven't done the ice bath yet, so you know what, I'm going to go give that one a go. Went on for a little match and I got some of this cheesy rock. Yeah, the cheese hats were far too much, they were rip off to be honest. There's a big one there and there's impossible. I think I've only done that once or twice and I didn't really like it. Right, it was cheaper to get a t-shirt than it was to get a hat. Yes, yeah, so Dad here got me one. <laughs> anyway, I'm off to ice bath and possibly Valhalla after that, so... See you then. Good. Really good. In fact, my favourite water ride. Yes, over tidal wave. You heard that for part. I say over tidal wave is that thing, Valhalla. Anyway, I'm going on the flying machines now, and I may do it on ride depending on if the staff will let me. I suppose they won't, but always best to act first. Anyway, if I don't film it on ride, I'll see you after the ride. Maybe you want to try right here. One who's just 14 years old to do that. That doesn't stop it from being good. Alright, so I'm going to buy myself a Revolution mug and then I'll be heading for last ride because it's like 4 o'clock now. So anyway, just buy this Revolution mug and then I suppose I will just decide where to go to next. Alright, we call up a bit of a plan here because 
after four o'clock now and the park is closing at six. Um, we're going to start thinking about Lascos, as in we're going to head to the back of the park, you know, buy a big one and that, and then just make our way full back to the front of the park again. So that's our plan. Now, obviously, if we're going to the back, the wall's the big one. It means we're doing our big one next. Well, I am, since that's not doing it. And keep showing you this because it looks a bit odd. You know, with the building there, they could give it a bit of a paint up, to be honest. So, yeah, we're going to head to Big One and then do some last goes on that, along with uh, some other rides. Be back at the front before you know it. So, see you when we get to the Big One, I suppose. You know what, Big One was actually a lot smoother than the last row, or the last time we were on it, because we were further to the front. But now it's time for the one and only Steeplechase. Alright, Steeplechase is actually quite a good ride, to be honest. Right then, I'm going to go to Revolution now. I don't know why I'm pointing to the big one, because I can't quite see the Revolution now. But anyway, we're going to be heading now to the Revolution, which you still can't see. You might be able to see part of it, but anyway, see you there. Just to get a great ride, and it's just great time actually to come up to the bit where you, uh, the bit where you go back and you straight up and stop, and then you go backwards. While well, going up there after the roof, it's just great time was insane. So I think we're going to head off to the other end. Thank you very much. All right, um, I think we're going to head to Avalanche now. So and see you later. front row, pretty good. Um, so I'm heading down to Thermomatic now because yeah I just want to do that again. I just love the ride. Do you know why? Probably because I'm a fan of Wallace and Gromit and I like the ride as well. It's kind of a nice ride so. so 
Ik heb iets uh, kunnen maken. Laat ik zie je op de ride. Het staat zo om niet te filmen op te duiken. Anyway, ik zal zie je op de ride. Alright, just going for free on that I used to be the only one on the train. They let me have the entire thing to myself. Which was very lucky. In fact, I should have filmed it on right, but they won't let me. So I respect the rules. Anyway, I've heard that the Grand Prix is now open. So I'm going to go on it because I haven't been on it in a while. So yeah, if I can get an on ride on this, I will. But we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, if I don't get an on ride, I'll see you after the ride. Or the Grand Prix. The cables are a bit of a plan why I did. I'm going to Ice Plus and Dad is buying me a hot dog. I want to get off of Ice Plus. And then I suppose after Ice Plus, I suppose that'd be the time of day where I marathon Valhalla until it closes. That is if Valhalla's open, that is. Which I think it is, and as much as I hate the coaster, I gotta get an off road shot of it. As much as I hate the ride. And then I suppose after that I'll eat my hot dog and then it'll be that time of day where I eat this marathon Valhalla over and over and over again. So there we are. Head to Ice Plus now and then just marathon Valhalla as many times as I can until close. So, see you after the ride I suppose. You guess it guys, we're stuck on Valhalla. Um, if we have to get you back, I'll try to film it, but I gotta put my camera away now, bye. As you saw in the footage, well like 12 seconds of footage, yeah we did break down, and it did get going again, so that was great on the Valhalla, you can see my glasses are absolutely soaked. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like and comment below and tell me what you thought of this vlog. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.